Welcome to the next episode of Pillow Cat. Uh, what was it? The solo chapters. <laughs> We're playing stories untold. What do we need to do here, buddy? What we have to do now? I kind of didn't notice what he was saying, and now I'm kind of lost again. What do you need me to do, bro? What do I need to do? A stronger pulse something? Oh, uh, I fucked it up, didn't I? Uh, sometimes those things are wrong. Okay, uh... Lean in on me when you're not strong, and I'll be your friend. I'll help you carry on. What's happening? What do I need to do now? You're not helpful, bro. You're not helpful at all. I'll be right back. Ugh. I hate. I feel like I'm starting to hate this game. I feel like I'm starting to hate this game, but we're back. So all I had to do was basically turn off this, turn off this. I was right. It was the x-ray. What? Did they turn on that? Uh, I did what they told me. Oh my God, are you for real? Are you for real now? It, I, I turned everything off, turned this thing off and on and now this thing. Mm. Okay. Switch on the drill. It's on. It's on, bro. The drill is on. The drill is on. It's on the screen. Dude, it's on. Am I missing something here? The drill is on. The drill is on. It's on the screen already. Jesus Christ. I hate this game. I'm already... I'm already... Oh, I'm hating this game so much. Can we never do this one again? Damn. Oh, shit. No! The hell, we're back in the first one now. We're back in the first chapter again. Oh, uh, what is happening here, please? What the hell? 
across the band and yes not only is tonight New Year's Eve uh, let's see but tomorrow you leave on a six month trip tomorrow you leave on a six month trip abro abroad with friends Mom, Dad, and your sister Jennifer have decided to throw a party to celebrate it all. The house is full. You're in the living room, and as usual, you don't recognize a soul. Uh, look around. Uh, the room is full of chatty strangers, mostly friends of Mom and Dad. There's a door to the hall. Go to the hallway. Okay, and then it says you push through the crowd into the hallway. The hallway is as welcome as ever, only this time the folks have put a great big banner up across the main wall. Half finished drinks are abandoned on almost every horizontal surface. Stairs lead up, although the party is firmly downstairs. Go stairs? Uh. As much as you'd love to, you promise you stay downstairs with the party. Okay. Read. Banner. Bon voyage, James. Finally, not the family disappointment. Wow. Shuffle past people to get back to the living room. Yeah, this shit again. I understand. Ugh, why do we have to play? Sorry, guys. Why do we have to play through this whole shit again? Talk. Friends. We exchange pleasantries. Nod and smile. Nod and smile. Uh, drink. Use read. I think I have to go to the hallway again. But okay, that's all good and dandy. But what happens? Uh huh. Maybe I have to drink beer. You aren't drinking someone else's drink. Get your own. Look here, buddy. Banner switch kitchen. They say all the best parties are in the kitchen. No, they don't. The kitchen is full of people and loud. There are drinks and food on the table and the party's in full swing. Dad has cooked a uh, hog roast which sits proudly on the table, although no one is eating it. Eat. Roast. Maybe later. Oh, if you guys suck. Go to fridge. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Ah, what? You open the fridge and get yourself a light beer. Very refreshing. Okay. Dr no. Drink the roast. Maybe later. Drink beer. You pour yourself a drink. Nice to loosen up. Okay. Talk to nobody. Open. Back to the hallway. Okay, this is kind of getting annoying to me. Oh my god. Annoying is just a few letter words. A few letter words. Go, let's say, outside. 
Now is not the time to leave. The party is for you, after all. I don't want this fucking party. Go switch. Uh, you switch. A gut feeling tells you that you should just leave them on. Okay. Uh, look around the hallway. Same as ever. Stairs, door to the living room, and door to the kitchen. Go stairs. As much as you'd love to, you promise you stay downstairs with the party. Drink beer. You aren't drinking so much. Mm. Yes, we uh, went to the kitchen, went to the fridge, got a beer, poured it. We did we have to drink it? Oh my god, this <laughs> Okay, drink beer. Pour yourself a drink, nice to loosen up. Okay. Uh eat the roast. Maybe later. Talk to the roast. I'm sorry, I don't understand. No! It looks great. <laughs> Look at what was it, the road? It looks great. There is a utility room and writing on the wall. Also, Jen is here, signaling you. Look at the writing. There is nothing unusual about that. Nothing unusual about writing. The utility door is unlocked. That's odd. I guess so. Go to utility room. Just as you're about to head inside the utility room, Jen places her hand on your shoulder. You hug. You hug. You're going to miss each other. You thank her for the party. She asks if you are enjoying the party. Yeah, of course I am. You tell her it was great even though you don't really know anyone. She tells you to enjoy it anyway and to loosen up. She asks you to get her, to get her a drink. You pour Jen a drink and one, of your, and one for yourself as well. Uh, there's never an awkward silence with Jennifer. She always has a question. She asks if you have everything, sir, for the big trip. You tell her yes, that you have packed everything with plenty of room to spare. Another hug. Your family have really gone out of their way to make this trip happen for you. It might be what you need to get some perspective and maybe not fuck up with so much. She's going to miss you. You're going to miss her. She walks away. Jen has disappeared into the crowd. You're left standing, nodding and smiling at the proven faces. There's so much to do for this need. Can't mess it up, but first, a drink. Uh, go into the utility room. You open a door and peer in. You're never allowed in here normally. This is where Dad keeps his fine wines and whiskeys, seething to Florax, a collection. Although he does actually drink them too. There's a bottle with a ribbon found around it and a card. Look at the card. You pick up the whiskey and the card. It's your dad's handwriting, son. We're so proud of you and everything you've achieved. You've earned this. It's a bottle of 25-year-old double malt. You should really, you should, she shouldn't really, but blah, blah, blah. with your whiskey in hand, you take in the room around about you. There must be hundreds, no, thousands of pours worth of drink in here. You really must thank your dad for the whiskey. Here's interest. Okay. What does it say there? It says rocks, whiskey, bottle, drink, whiskey. You take a swig, it's probably the best and strongest you've tasted ever. Just wow. Hmm. I'm sorry, I don't understand. You just read the whiskey bottle.
No way, that would kill me. Go to the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Clutching your new ribbon thing. Uh huh. You stumble out of the two living room and back into the kitchen. Just one strong whiskey. You take another swig and give the thumbs up to Dad across the room. He nods and winks. Go to Dad, yeah. I understand. Talk to Mom, sure. Uh, she's in the other room singing your praises. Okay, how about Dad then? He tells you he is proud of you and to go easy tonight. Early flight tomorrow. Talk to Jen. You can't see Jen. She must have moved through to the hall. Go to the hallway. Back right to the hallway. Uh-huh. Thumbs and laughs on the way through. You make it to the hall. You stop dead in your track. It's Jen. Covered in blood. What? It's Jen covered in blood? Go to Jen. Yeah. She's staring straight at you. No one else notices. What's happening? Blood is dripping down her face. It's mixing with tears. Help Jen, dude. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Help. Okay, I'm sorry, I don't understand. Uh... I'm sorry, I don't understand. What the fuck is wrong with this? Help Jen! She's our sister! Oh my god, what's happening? Whoa. What? Jennifer's dead? Whoa. So, I don't, want to see, I don't want to see him. Oh, shit. Wait, so we killed our sister? Like, we were, act we were actually drunk driving? And our sister's dead now? You're standing in the hallway. Something has stopped you in your tracks. While searching your mind, your sister interrupts. She waves her hand in front of you and asks if you can drive her home. You still feel out of sorts. Those words echo. There's no point till you find those car keys. You need to look for them. You, they must be either in the kitchen or in the living room. Go into the living room, I guess. You're sure your keys are in the living room. The living room has a much more relaxed atmosphere compared to the kitchen. Various guests are set on the chairs. Having so I mentioned, there's a coffee table in the middle of the room. They launch for a drink at the drinks cabinet. Talk to mom. Uh, tears immediately start to appear in her eyes. My son, off to America. She gives you a hug. Oh, we were in America before? Uh, where's the keys at? Uh, I guess they're not here. Guess they were not here. So they're in the kitchen then? Empty handed, you head back out to the kitchen. Uh huh. Jen, uh, you're standing in the hallway, bottle of whiskey in hand, but no car keys. Dad points to the living room and sighs as she puts on her coat. 
So we had the empty whiskey bottle then, and we and we caused the accident. I thought it was him. The police officer thing. Uh, go kitchen. Maybe your keys are in the kitchen. The kitchen is busy. Way too many people crowded in here. But I guess this is where the food and drink are at. I guess I like a set of vultures picking up the rows on the kitchen counter. Your dad is locking up the utility room. Look for keys. We need to look for these. They must be either in the kitchen or the living room. Uh, yeah. Dad tells you to take your sister home, but to go slow since you have a few drinks already. Uh, you are not able to do that. Okay. Uh, so I don't understand. Look. Okay, I'm. What? Eat, read, use, look. You need to look for them. They must be either in the kitchen or in the living room. Okay. Go, keys. Go to the keys. Because I don't understand. He doesn't understand that either. Use them keys. Okay, but you're not able to do that. Okay, uh, let's go back to the hallway then. Back out to the hallway. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Then points to the living room inside as she puts on her coat. So they're in the living room then. For sure, keys are in the living room. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Good for the mom. Okay, look. look at the table. Oh, look at table. Oops. Uh, drinks and coasters. A little like proper civilized people. You can't see your key. Look. Cabinet. Your mom's collection of wines and spirits. Definitely no keys in here. Okay, mom games. Couch. Friends in conversation, jackets and coats everywhere. Uh, look around. Coffee table, drink cabinet, one of those chairs with her jackets and coats. Mm -hmm. Look, jackets. You search through all the jackets and coats until you find yours. Aha! Car keys in the pocket. You grab both. Go. Where is outside? Use keys. You're not able to do that. Okay. Go to the keys. I don't understand. Okay. Look at the keys. There's nothing unusual about that. This game. Uh, talk to friends. They have no idea why you left your car. Where you left your car keys? Talk to mom. Tears in your start to appear in her eyes. I sign off to America. She gives you a hug. A drink. Whiskey. You take a sneaky sip while your mom is not looking. Go for her. Keys, Jesus, Christ. Go to the hallway. 
keys in hand, you head back into the hall. Jen thanks you for helping her out. She has work in the morning and no one else is in any fit state to drive. You can handle it though. You know the road like the back of your hand, don't you? No, this is a horrible idea. Talk to Jen. She thanks you for taking you home, even if it's taking you ages to find your keys. Go outside. You open the front door and walk in, out into the freezing night. The cold air hits you. You're glad you have your jacket with you. There's a dusting of snow around you as you stop down from the porch. The yard extends around the back of the house and the car sits at the front of the house. Go your turn. You fumble with the car head up confused until Jen tells you you have to use, maybe use the keys in your hand. There we go. Uh, fumbling with the car keys, you eventually get the door open and climb in. The car is freezing. As you fumble around with your seatbelt, your sister opens up the car, glove up to hand you a note and a key that was inside. She tells you that it's for when you return. Oh, shit. Isn't this how it started? We opened the glove compartment, the thing, and read the note. The note is from your dad and reads, My hi, son. Hope you enjoy your break. You'll need to fire up the generator around back to get power and lights on. Also, found something in the attic for you. It's in your room. Enjoy. Oh, shit. Full circle, bro. It's all coming back. Drive. The car is freezing. You have to do your seatbelt sign. You're ready to go. It's time to go. Risky. Let's drive the car. Drive car. The fuck? The car doesn't move given the engine isn't actually on. It's like you have never driven before. <sighs> Turn car. Oh my god. Turn the ignition with sheer willpower despite holding keys in your hand. Oh my god, this game. This game is stupid. It takes a number of attempts, but you eventually slot the key into the ignition. Turn. There you go. You turn the key in the ignition, and the car roars to life. Drive the car, bro. Uh, the car squeals, but stays stationary. Jen says, ready to the brake, giving you a wide eyed stare. Uh. Break. You very hesitantly release the handbrake. Okay, drive the car then. Jesus Christ, you put the car in gear and pull out the driveway like a first time driver. You really shouldn't be doing Okay, you, I am driving very drunk on the road towards the town where your sister stayed. Then started dozing off as soon as the journey I'm going. This shouldn't take long. You come to Justin. Is it left or right? You can't remember. Oh my god, uh. Right, maybe? You don't want to, but you had better ask Jen for directions. I think I understand. I think I understand what's happening now. Oh, shit. She grunts and throws her arm to the left. It's left. Of course it's left. You turn the car left at the junction and accelerate off. Confident that you were on the right road, now you loosen up and put your foot down on the accelerator. You feel powerful as the engine roars at your command. Jen sits up in her chair and clutches your arm. She asks you to slow down. I'm gonna drink your whiskey. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Okay. Uh, talk to Jen. He asks you to slow down. It's it's been snowing. Dude, you don't know. Use accelerator. I went faster, didn't I? Jen is hitting your arm and yelling at you. Crazy. Strange. There's a set of headlights coming directly at you, but really slow, like slow motion.
Rick. You try to react, but your body is responding. There's nothing you can do to stop this. There's no way to control it. The lights emerge with your car. The outside joins the inside. <laughs> the whole world around you begins and screaming. Oh, shit! For fuck's sake, James, pull over! Whoa. 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 The hell? You wake up in the car. Your world is upside down. Your seat both struggles against gravity, trying to hold you in your seat. On impact, an impact, another car has torn a hole in the chassis or whatever. Poisonous flumes spill into your car from the engine. You're in grave danger. You have to get out of here. Oh, shit. What the hell is that? Help. Jen? You can't do anything for her right now. You need to help yourself now. Uh, you see both. You release your seat, yourself on the seat. Gravity takes over as you slump on the roof of the car. Go. Uh, use car door. Ah, this is fucked up, bro. You squeeze through the wreckage and fall to your knees on the ground, etc. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, every breath brings pain to your chest. Your head is throbbing. A blue car has smashed into the passenger side of your car. Your life cannot be ruined by this. You're standing, holding your whiskey, and your dad's note and flashing lights are approaching at a distance. Go to other car. That's what I thought. I was like, oh, shit, the door is jammed. You don't have time for messing around like this, James. Plant. Oh, and that's what happened. That's what, oh, when the lights approach you closer, you begin to hear the shrill of they're sirens. You simply cannot go to jail for this. You clean the bottom to remove your connection with the whiskey. You then barely spill the remainder of the bottle of contents into the driver, and you toss the incriminating evidence into his car. A circle of flashing lights surround you, leaving the crash site and the darkness behind them. Are many people all staring? One figure steps out of the silhouette and waits, and walks towards you. This man. So it was right. He did plan that shit. Oh, God. That's terrible. You try to talk, but you are not making any sense. Go to the figure. As you approach the man, the pulsating lights around you get dimmer and dimmer while the pain in your head increases. You fall to the ground at his feet. I know you're feeling so far away. Whoa. You have to listen to me. Whoa. Now I understand. Oh, shit! Now I understand the first episode. What the hell? No. Utterly consumed by it. How can I leave from this place? Say it, James. Say it. Tell them. No. <laughs> oh my God. This all makes sense now. Do your wash your hands, but in this way it seems pointless. Holy shit. Holy shit, dude. Do you not understand? I have to follow that thing.
Oh my god. Where's my little cursor? There it is. How do I stop the session? All of your episodes were recorded to tape. This is the fourth. Okay, so all the rep were recorded in tape. This is the fourth. Okay, how do I get close to the TV? How do I get close to anything? I don't know what I'm doing. Crazy shit though. Crazy how all this. James, you did all that shit. Wow, man. All these dreams and all that shit was for nothing. That's crazy, dude. What am I gonna do? What do I do now? Can't see the little cursor. Ah, uh, do I put a stop to this? Sometimes they make you watch or pass that shit to see what really happened. Okay, that's all. You know, good and dandy. This certainly feels like an emergency. What do I do? What do I do? Dr. Alexander is always watching remotely. I don't know if anyone else is ever with him. Okay. Uh, wait, can I? I was like, can I not leave anymore? Uh, I guess I'm going the other way then. Why is he walking though? Something familiar about this bed, but they, what they did to you. What happened? I can't see anything now. Did I get stuck? I'm stuck. What happened? Did the game crash? Oh shit, I think the game crashed. Are you fucking for real? This is what I needed to do all this time.
Oh my god, we went through all this shit just for this. Oh. oh my god, I feel so annoyed right now. I feel so, this episode's so long too. I feel so annoyed. Stories untold, so James killed his sister, driving drunk and tried to plant the evidence somebody else and then he started having all these nightmares about it that's crazy man again if we've learned something from this game never drunk drive never drink and drive that's not a good thing are we done with the game what happened is this how it ends? Is this how it ends, bro? Oh my god, this is so stupid. Uh, next time on Pillow Cat, anything else? Why did I play this game? I don't know. It just frust frustrated me so much. I it's a good concept, it's a good game, but I just feel so freaking frustrated with this game. Just the frustration is so much.